What is going on my lions? Welcome to today's video. We're going to talk about Helium 10 and we're going to go over some of the best features that it has, some of the key components of Helium 10 that you can actually use to your advantage in building your Amazon FBA business to make sure you're doing the right product research, to make sure you're doing the absolute best tool that's out there for you to do your product research. Now, I know I've done comparative videos for you guys for Jungle Scout and Viral Launch and stuff like that, but I'm telling you guys, Helium 10 is hands down one of the best tools out there in the market. And to make sure that you guys take advantage of this tool, I've actually negotiated some discounts for you guys. Make sure to check out the link below and use the codes that I've provided you guys to get your discount. I'm telling you guys, try it out, even for a month or two, just to see how it actually helps you, especially when you're a new seller. You need this tool to guide you. And I still use it to this day, even though I'm not a new Amazon seller. I've been doing this for years. I still use it. Why? Because Amazon is all about finding the right product that is on demand at the right time. That's what it's all about, guys. So I hope you guys learned something valuable today. And today we're going to go over some of the amazing features Helium 10 has. All right, let's get right into it. All right, guys, so welcome back. Now, what we have loaded is my Helium 10 full membership that I have with them. Now, I want to go over some of the tools that are absolutely necessary in your business when you're working with Amazon FBA. Now, I have coupon codes in the description again, guys. So if you're thinking about Helium 10, make sure to check out those coupon codes and get your discounts. Now, they have a ton of information. So the tools that they have are absolutely amazing. So they have one for everything. So they have black box, trendsetter, magnet squared, Cerebro, which is the reverse ASIN lookup, Frankenstein, Scribble, Sendex checker, keyword tracker, alerts, inventory protector, refund genie, genie and misplanator. Okay. So let's quickly read through some of these tools and what each one does and why you would need them. Okay. So Frankenstein. Frankenstein is the most powerful Amazon keyword processor on the planet. Take thousands of keywords and process them into cash generating keyword lists. So essentially it's a keyword list generator for use. Okay. So if you're wondering what keywords are in demand and what you want to use, this is one of the tools you can use. Scribbles is another one. It's all about keywords and writing a fully optimized listing. So uh, remember guys, I always tell you guys, when you write your listing, make sure that you use keywords that are in demand and people are searching for. You, what you do is basically put those keywords in your sentences, put your keywords in your back end of your listing as the actual keywords, and that's how you optimize your listing guys, okay? That's very important when you're actually launching your product. Black box. Black box, same time and energy researching every niche and existing on Amazon to find your next product to sell. So black box is actually searching different niches, different products, what products are profitable in that niche so you can actually get into it. And I'll actually tell you whether or not it is in demand or whether or not it's competitive in that market. Okay. Trendsetter. Quickly and easily analyze products you're considering sourcing to determine their seasonality. So Trendsetter is basically the trends over the uh, over the 12 month period. How is this product doing? Um, how much sales people are making at what periods of time within the year? So this way you know if your product is seasonal, if it's a product that is actually uh, in demand here on uh, here long around, and you are good. So. As I mentioned, guys, seasonal products, if you're a new seller, never ever get into it. Build some experience with Amazon FBA, learn the ins and outs before you actually get into seasonal product. Seasonal products can be very profitable if you know what you're doing, but if you're not, it can be absolutely a nightmare for you guys or more like a night terror because you're going to lose money, you're going to lose time and effort and everything. And it actually affects your business the negative way if you don't sell properly. Magnet Squared, another keyword research tool. Enter a seed keyword and an instant magnet will pull in the best semantically connected, most competitive keywords. Okay. So you have your base keyword you want to search. Let's say you want to search laptop bags or what have you, right? It is going to give you absolutely important and crucial keywords that is associated with that keyword. Okay. Cerebro is one of my favorite tools where you can enter any product ASIN number and within seconds you'll receive hundreds of thousands of keyword suggestions. So you can say, okay, 
this is my competitor's ASIN number. I've shown you guys in the Chrome extension that you can find the ASIN number. Now, once you have the ASIN number, you can search it and find the keywords that are used within that listing that are absolutely crucial, <coughs> sorry, when you're trying to get into that market, okay? Index checker, keyword index checker. Figure out which of their backend and frontend keyword search terms are being indexed by Amazon and which ones are not. So this is absolutely crucial to know which ones are actually indexed by Amazon and used, which ones are not. So you actually take out the clutter from your keywords. Now remember guys that Helium 10 plays a major emphasis on keywords research from like the back end to the front end to what is search to what is to avoid and all that. So a lot of these tools have to do with that. And then you also have a keyword tracker, which is a new tool that they have. Keep track of the changes and visualize how each change affects product listings rank for giving keywords. So you're gonna keep track of whatever change in keywords you make, how is that impacting your uh, listing? Is that actually negatively impacting it or positively impacting it? And which ones are actually good keywords? Okay, mispellinator. So misspellings checker. So this is just another tool to check your misspellings um, for your keywords quickly so you can start earning more with perceived mistakes. So um, a lot of times what happens is that one of the tricky ways that people put keywords in their back end in the back end of their listing is that they misspell it. They anticipate how a user would misspell a keyword. So you find out which keywords are actually misspelled um, and how they're misspelled on a regular basis. And then you put that misspelled keyword in the back end of your keywords. So whenever they search even with misspelled, your listing will pop up. So it's a really, really good way because a lot of times we're typing too fast and we don't pay attention. So actually we go really fast and we type in something and then all of a sudden, uh, the keyword is misspelled, right? So this is basically anticipating what misspelled keywords are being used around the world to search for a specific item, okay? And of course, alerts, which is your hijacker and product monitoring. So people who are trying to hijack your products on Amazon FBA and use your pictures and everything. So this will uh, give you an alert and it will pre prevent fraud by monitoring your chosen ASIN numbers. Receive alerts when your listing is hijacked or another actionable event occurs, okay? And then the last two that I didn't mention are basically like once you have your listing, so it's your inventory protector, which is coupon abuse prevention. So if people want to abuse the coupons that you're providing, this will protect your inventory so they don't clear out your inventory. A lot of times what happens is that um, I've seen this happen with a lot of my students where um, these Chinese companies or individuals, what they do is they try to buy out your entire inventory to clear you out so you're out of order out of stock and then what they'll do is once they have the products they return it so they basically screw you over you think you made sales but you actually didn't so this limits the buyers on how many um coupons they can use how many items they can purchase and so on and so forth refund jenny genie Reimbursement assistance. So Refund Genie locates your lost or damaged inventory that must be reimbursed by Amazon. So a lot of times, as you guys know, that Amazon is really good at washing their hands of things. So this will help you guys figure out which products or returns they should actually pay you back for, for whatever or reason or mistakes that they have made, okay? You're gonna get detailed reports um, so you can promptly collect your money from Amazon. So that's it guys, these are the main tools of Helium 10. They have a beautiful support system, they have a lot of training and um, a lot of videos available for you to take a look at and see how to use each tool. They're really good at that guys, okay? So <coughs> they also have a pro training right here, like I mentioned guys, it is absolutely there to help you really maximize your efforts on Helium 10 and find the right products and do everything properly. Now their Chrome extension is absolutely amazing. I have it connected to my um, uh, Chrome browser here. It is absolutely free and it provides some of this information and you don't have to actually purchase it. You just install it. Unlike here at Jungle Scout where you pay $97 for the light extension, this is absolutely free and it actually gives you a little bit more information than Jungle Scout or Viral Launch would. So I absolutely recommend this tool. Coupon codes below for you guys to use. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell button and leave a comment if you have any questions and like give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. 
Thank you so much, guys. Have a wonderful day, and I will talk to you guys next time.